session today and we are witnessing a strength decrease in the shoulder press. First set for six, second set for five and uh, that I'll have to do on 70 kilos though, five weeks into the cut. It's not too bad at all really is it when you think about it. So um, I reckon the one rep max will still be 85 because the explosive power is still there, it's just the endurance is ever so slightly coming down. I don't know whether that's to do with how I train towards the end of the bulk, it might have something to do with it, but hey, only time will tell. So, like I said, we're gonna be doing a walkthrough today because the gym is pretty dead. So, look at me, I get to do my favorite kind of video. So, drop a like, comment down below, let's get started. Don't be that guy. Doesn't matter how heavy it is, doesn't matter how long it takes, always. Right, let's do some back. Just doing it one arm at a time. Really isolating the muscle, really isolating the contraction and getting to concentrate on one side of it is really good if, like me, you have one side of your back ever so slightly stronger than the other, that can kind of help to even out that muscle imbalance and, um, you know, build that all round a little bit more symmetrical physique, which of course, if you're gonna compete by one day, I want to, that's exactly what you need to pick up that gold medal, to pick up that trophy. So, two more sets on this, then we'll move on. done um, and you'll notice that I did a set of 60 in between just to make sure that everything was in the right place the muscle was warmed up because this is an upper body workout but with shoulder emphasis so I just wanted to make sure that there was enough blood in the chest so I didn't just slap on 90 kilos to save the injury risk for about longevity today is that people take it so seriously to the fact that you know 
they're just not enjoying it. They're just here to try and Im Im impress others. And if that's what you want to do, then great. But I wouldn't advise it, just because... Focus on yourself. I've been the only person in here all the time. I pointed out to Charlotte once or twice, who's helped me record today. I'm the only one in here with a smile on my face. Whether it's because it's a chore and people are just doing it because it has health benefits, obvious health benefits, you know, and it might not be, a, it might not be as much fun as it is to me, to everybody else. But at the same time, you've got to enjoy it because if you don't enjoy it, you're not going to stick to it. If you don't stick to it, you're not going to see the results. If you don't see the results, you're just going to quit. So even if it is a little bit of a chore, maybe tailor your exercise ever so slightly, or you know, do something that interests you. Even in the slightest, because then you're more likely to stick to it. You're more likely to have a smile on your face and just enjoy the time that you have in the gym, because this is my favourite time of the day. And it can be yours too, if you do it right. ritual of mine, once the session is finished, is to come to the toilets, <sighs> wash my face, wash my hands, before I move on to the cardio. Simple reason for that is just sort of feel a little bit fresher, and so because I end up doing cardio for sort of 35, 40, 45 minutes, it's a long time to sit there or walk not sit there, stand there, walk there for like on an incline, getting even more sweaty when you already feel like crap. And so just to help as a kind of not a motive, but it just makes me feel a lot better, a lot fresher before I go back in to do some cardio. Um, and it's just what I do. Like I say, find something that can help put a smile on your face just because me feeling a little bit fresher, like the cardio is the part that puts a frown on my face. So if I can do something to help reverse that frown, turn it into a smile, and that's washing my face, something small like that, then I'm definitely 100% gonna do it, and you guys should too. So, it's cardio time. Not doing too badly really, 360 calories done. Um, that is on a speed completely different to what I normally do. So a completely different route this time. Um, it's a little bit difficult for me to explain, to be honest. So uh, I'll finish up. I reckon I'll go to 500 today. I'll finish up. I'll take you home. And I'll explain it. All right, everybody. So first off, I would like to thank you if you are still watching and ask you very very kindly. If you are enjoying the video then drop it a like and a comment down below let me know your thoughts. As you guys probably guessed we finished off with 500 calories of cardio. I was feeling good so we just kept on going. Um, and on that note I wanted to kind of talk you through my philosophy when it comes to cutting with cardio. And so as you can see there's a menu here, there's time elapsed, there's calories and calories an hour. There's so many different things that can actually affect this. First off the incline. See as you can see 5.5, 6, it keeps on going up and up and up. As you do this, the calories you're burning per hour will go up. If you do that on a flat, that won't go up at such a steady rate. As you can see, I'm actually moving the speed here as well. This is also going to affect the calories per hour. And as you can see, I keep on saying calories per hour because that is the important thing here, guys. People say, oh, I'll do half an hour's worth of cardio or I'll do, you know, 45 minutes worth of cardio. And that's great. But as you can see, the cal calories per hour it's going to depend on how much, how many calories you actually burn. If you do half an hour's worth of cardio but don't actually track how fast or the incline or anything like that you are going, then you could do half an hour of really easy cardio one time and half an hour of really difficult cardio the next time. So I'm actually going to put this up to max incline, which is 15, which is something that I wouldn't normally do, and then compare the calories burned per hour. See, it's up to 8 100 nearly calories guys, so nearly 800 calories an hour. So if I do half an hour's worth of ca cardio, that would be around about 400 calories. Whereas if I did a nice steady 10% incline on, you know, a 3.2% speed or something like that, because I wasn't really feeling it that day, I could still class it as half an hour's cardio, but I won't have burned as many calories. So the thing I want to take you guys to take away from this is 
rather than tracking the amount of time or tracking the exact same speed, because every single treadmill is different. Every single 15% incline on one treadmill could be the same as 12% on the next. 4.2 speed could be the same as 6.7 speed on the next. It sounds stupid, guys, but it's true. Every single treadmill is made differently. Whether it's the same, or even, the even the same brand, you could go on the different treadmill in the same gym and actually have a completely different result, a completely different statistical or number pop up for your calories, for your speed, anything, everything can be different. But the one thing that you can accurately track, whether, I mean, there's always, of course, the debate of whether they're um, actually accurate or not, the sort of, the, 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 the calorie trackers on the treadmill. But if you stick to, say, you know, I want to burn at least a minimum of 750 calories an hour, for 45 minutes or and then you can you know set a calorie goal or something like that and it's just a much better much easier much simpler way in my opinion to actually track everything um, because then you can just make sure that you're being properly consistent can't you so that is it I've rambled on uh, more than enough as it is um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video actually take something from this let me know how you track your cardio or whether there's a way that I could change mine let me know if you think there's something that I missed um, and again, drop a like if you have enjoyed the video. We're going to finish it off with the commentary today, guys. So, as always, remember, no regrets. Together we will grow. I'll see you guys in the next video.